Hello and welcome to another Titan Academy video. In this video, we will go over how to insert and edit fields with merge data in the Titan Word plugin. We can insert a field, click the Insert Edit Field button, and a window will open with various options for the source from the field. We have Salesforce, we have System Fields, supported now are the Now Timestamp, which we can configure, and the IP, which will show the IP address of the user. Web project and submission we will go over in later courses in the advanced course. For now, let's look further at the Salesforce options. From here, you will want to select an object, any object, standard or custom. For this example, I will choose the account. Then you will want to add a comment indicating what you're querying. This is visible later in the list of queries, so you'll want to add a good comment that tells you what this query is. Then you want to select your field. Let's just go with account name. Once you have your field selected, go ahead and click insert. This will insert the merge field into your Word document. This text that's in the middle is placeholder text. You can delete this if you want, you can change it to something else. So long as you don't mess with the field elements themselves, you'll be okay. So let's say we want to delete this first part of the query, just account name, and there you go. Now let's insert something other than a text field. For example, a date field. Again, we'll go to insert or edit field. In our list of queries, we see the account query that we just created. So we'll select that one. Let's insert a date field, say created date. Here we can choose our field and then configure the format. The options available on configure format will vary depending on the data type. In this example, we are configuring a date field. We can choose from various predefined formats. I'll choose September 4th, 1986, or you can put your own customized version of that specifying display for day, month, year, etc. For this, we will pick, we will stick with this predefined format. We'll go ahead and click apply and insert that field. Now let's try a currency field. I'll go ahead and insert field again. Again, we will choose our account query and I'll choose the annual revenue field. If we configure the format, we can again select from predefined formats. We can put specified leading text if we want, change our decimal count. We can select a number to word to convert the Salesforce number to a word output. For here, we will choose this format. And again, those format options are different depending on the field type. Let's format our account name. If you want to edit an existing field, just place your cursor in the middle of the field, click insert or edit field, and Titan will pull that field back up. If we configure our field format, with text, we can do things like bring back all lowercase, uppercase, title case, all capitalized, no margins, inline HTML, etc. We will cover more about these formatting options in the more advanced Titan courses. And that is a basic summary of how to insert or edit a merge field. Thanks for watching.